Shalom family, welcome to today. The Hebrew word I want to discuss with you is hased. And hased means unfailing or loyal love. In Exodus 34, 6, we read that God is described as being compassionate and gracious, slow to anger, overflowing with a loyal love and faithfulness. So the Hebrew word Hased is used here for loyal love. And God's Hased is not conditional. It is not based on our performance or dependent on our worth because we can never be worthy. God's Hased is a display of His generous loyalty to His children. Hased is who He is, it's His nature. God is generous and loving and he keeps his promises, his promise to bring beauty from ashes. We mess up once again and once again, he cleans up our mess. That's Hased. Hased in the Bible, God's Hased in the Bible, we see it in Exodus 15, 13, when he saves his people from Egypt. We see it in Numbers 14, 18 through 20 when he forgives them. He forgives the Israelites when they betray him. Isaiah 54, 10, he stays faithful to the covenant in spite of the Israelites' spiritual infidelity. In Psalm 23, 6, he pursues us with hesed. Proverbs 3, 3 it has said is the love that God calls us to live by. God is calling us into has said. So how can we, where do we see people's has said in the Bible? Well, we see it with Ruth's faith, faithfulness to her mother-in-law. She promises to stay with her and care for her husband's mother, though her husband has died. We see it with Jonathan and David's relationship, Jonathan took bold risks to protect his best friend. Hesed is the father who ran to meet his prodigal son and greeted him with a hug and kiss and welcomed him back into the family with a party. Hesed motivates one person, the superior or a more powerful person to supp supply a critical need to the weaker or lesser person. Jesus is the greatest act of God's has said for humanity. My prayer today is that God gives us the opportunity to show has said by filling a need in someone's life. I love you all. I pray you have a blessed day. Shalom.